You want to start or you want me to start? Oh, you can start. Okay. Oh, got it. Well, welcome. Well, welcome <laughs> to <laughs> 2022. This is Native Wellness Institute's Power Hour. For the past, um, oh gosh, 92 weeks, <laughs> we've had around 400 power hours. And so um, Jean Tagabon, um, my partner, we just wanna welcome you. Uh, we're gonna spend an hour with you. Uh, Native Wellness Institute started this in March, 2020. It's just to um, food for thought, food for water, food for um, transformation, food for wellness. So, so Oki, Nistu Nidaniko Mokoyo Sokoyi. I'm part of the Blackfoot Confederacy in Alberta and Montana, and I am in Montana. It's a it's a breezy negative nine Fahrenheit, a breezy negative thirty in Alberta. <laughs> I'm part of the Native Wellness team. Um, we, um, we've been going for 22 years straight under the leadership of our executive director, Jalene Joseph. And we've got a whole team of, of many, many partners and many allies. Um, so I just, I'll just i just do a, a brief like one minute introduction. And then I'm gonna ask my brother because we always ask our males to pray and then introduce themselves. So, um, you know, I, part of my introduction I don't um, speak about is how did I get started? Uh, my first work was, um, my first clinical work is with pregnant addicts. And one of the best jobs I ever had in my life was in San Francisco with the Native American Health Center. And we had all the indigenous women all in the San Francisco area, Indians who were pregnant and having babies. And I work there and that I just want to say that that in my introduction, I wanted to come from that place of attending the ceremony of births, helping well babies, helping mothers take care of themselves during birth and motherhood. Um, and, and also with the fathers, but it was predominantly with the mothers at that time. And so I'm just going to um, introduce that part of myself. I'm Nistu Nidaniko Mokoyo Sokoyi. And I'll say that much. And I'm going to pass it to my brother. How are you going to start us off, Gene? Well, I, got a, I got my little smudge bowl here. I'm going to light that up and just get that going. And, you know, and part of it too is, is uh, welcome everybody to uh, uh, 2022. What are you going to do in 2022? Who are you in 2022? Be cool. It's 2022. <laughs> <This is kind laughs> <of corny. laughs> I love it. I love it, G. <laughs> so everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome here. So I just lit the smudge, you know, and did that. And I trust that 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 uh, that spirit's going to go out where it needs to go. And uh, it's really good to be here and uh, uh, on, online here and in this world. I mean, with so much going on and the craziness that's going on um, out there, but here we are, here we are. And uh, so with that, I just let that smudge and I'm just gonna um, sing, a, sing a quick little song here. You know, and as I sing this song too, it's like, you know, what a, a opportunity here just to think about the land of our ancestors. And oftentimes, you know, I'm coming to you from the, uh, the the territories of the Coast Salish people on, on the land of the Puyallup, traditional lands of the Puyallup people. And I tell people in the shadows of Mount Tahoma here in Tacoma and in in Ruston inside the, uh, a township within Tacoma, the city of Tacoma. You know, and as I, I travel and I, I go around, I often imagine what this land would be like without the buildings what the land would be like without all the cement and where everything was just uh, still just in uh, its natural state before uh, the encroachment of Western civilizations, colonization, industrialization, whatever you want to call it, you know, where uh, 
And so I, I often take my mind there and think about that, especially, you know, here, here we are, Theta, you know, we're, we're in that, uh, we we're talk, want to talk about uh, recovery and, and um, this holidays hangover, you know, and so many things and, and energetically come up. And so that's one of my wellness things that I do. Just use my imagination to, to be there and to sit there. And, you know, even when I walk the streets uh, on the pavement, I'll, I'll imagine that. You know, and, and they'll say, so I'm just going to sing the song. I'm going to ask those out there just to imagine it and, you know, what the land was like. And some of you might be out there on the reservations and such, you know, like, like Theta doesn't have, you know, she can look outside and she doesn't even have to imagine. She can just see it. She can just see it, you know, and, and, uh, but uh, what a, what a gift that, that, that is, but just to use your imagination, your creativity, you know, and, and just imagine what it was like, the land. The land because it's still there it's still there it's still the land is still there underneath your, underneath your feet underneath the pavement or wherever you're at you know and just so just think about that at this time as i uh, as i just sing this song you know just uh um about uh acknowledging our ancestors you know and whatever came up for you when you were doing that imagining you know of what the land looked like uh before uh buildings or anything like that write it down you no know, take that keep it that state of mind i was listening to an elder a couple of weeks ago online and he was talking about how to capture that state of mind capture that state of mind you know the times when things are going well, things are going good. We're in that we're in spiritual connection, that spiritual uh, strength, you know, or we're accomplishment, whatever it is, you know, that it's it's that when we're in those times, it's a state of mind. And he was like saying, capture that as if you're grabbing, you're you're holding that state of mind, and hang on to it, so you can use it later on. Well, you can use it later on, because that's yours. It's yours, capturing that state of mind, you know, and some of us, we had a good time during this holidays and, and stuff like that. And that's a good thing to capture and hang on to. Some of us had a hard time. So, so just to let you know, some of you are out there looking at, who the heck is this Indian guy here talking to me, man? I didn't even tell you my name. You know, some of you know me, some of you may not. My name is Gene Tagaban. My slinket name is Gayao. I'm of the Duck Dane Tan clan, Raven Freshwater Sockeye clan from Huna, Alaska, child of a Wishkaton, Eagle Shark clan from Juan in Juneau, Alaska. I'm Cherokee, Clinket, and Filipino. My last name, Tagaban, is Filipino from my father's side. And it's his Clinket and, and Filipino. My grandfather comes from Bantok. My great grandfather comes from a local's Norte. And my mother is uh, full blood Cherokee. And her Cherokee name is Weak. And I'm of the, uh, of the, um, wolf clan on that side and she traced our lineage back to a place that is now known as georgia tennessee and north carolina and that's a little bit who i am i told you where i'm at on the lands of the territories of the coast salish people here but i share that introduction as both theta and i we share our introductions because what happens is that we it gets us connected more with our ancestors of who we are we bring them into the space with us they're always in the space but you know we bring them into the space with us because as Theta and I are on here, you know, sure, it's like we like to share, you know, whatever we're going to share. We're not even sure what we're going to, what's, what's going to, you know, share, but we need help, eh? 
you know, during this holidays hangover, we need help. I know I do. And so sometimes I'll just look to my ancestors and that knowledge, that wisdom, and try to capture that state of mind that they had. Try to capture that state of mind. And how can I use that? How can I encompass that state of mind, you know, and in this world that we have here? And so with that, you know, it's a, um, this welcome everybody who's, who's, who's out there. And, and those who aren't even viewing right now, just know, I just have trust that the spirit of, of what we're about to do here and share with you will reach them somehow, some way, somehow, mm -hmm. some way. And so uh, what are your thoughts, Theta? Thank you, Gene. Um, you know, I really um, appreciate you when you say to capture the land. I um, uh, I always close my eyes because I've learned over time um, that my eyes deceive me sometimes. Um, and so I always like when you were singing, and of course when when you when you sing, I always think of um, the killer whale. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason to orca and so um i'll just say you know and gene and i we, we share stories and or people with lived experience um and i guess not abstract but one of the times um i i i went to um inside of there's called the island wild goose and going to the sun road right right over here you should go, come visit sometime everyone just um right Right now, you need a snowmobile and it's too cold. But, but um, I had um, finished, um, you know, I sundanced many years with Buster Yellow Kidney. And, and my mom, my mom raised us, I guess, raised, we were raised that way. And her and Buster were um, very close friends. So we lived off the reservation and I've been home 27 years. And so I really, I was born and raised in Hart Butte. But when you were singing, Gene, I remember when we had danced with, um, when we danced with, with Buster, he would say, you know, that time during the Sundance, we um, were, we're in the spirit world. That's why, you know, you can't, you got to cover and you don't look at the Sundancers, you keep focused. And um, so then what we had adapted to or transformed is once we got out of that Sundance, we'd just go um, camp in the mountains till we came back to ourselves. And, and I think about that now because when you when you were singing, one of the times um, because of the, the work schedule, I couldn't stay in the mountains. So I had to come home and um, get ready, you know, in a couple of days to go back to work. And I was really disappointed about not having that transformation of, because I think that, you know, this, this holiday days, you know, it, some of you, I just, I appreciated all the family pictures, but I also heard so much hurt and wounded during this time. But what I, what I saw was um, that killer, that killer whale, because I never knew what a killer whale is. You know, I'm Nesitipi, I'm Scott Pipicunny, I'm Blackfeet. We don't have no killer whales <laughs> around. <laughs> swimming around, but we do have water spirits. <laughs> but uh, we'd come back and and Buster, we told Buster, we can't go up. We, we're not going to go up in the mountains. We have to go home. And but I, I had this dream about Wild Goose Island, and it's right inside, uh, going to the Sun Road and Glacier National Park, and it's um, it, it's a, a a rare phenomena because it um from the glacier ice and you know the glaciers, there was a hundred glaciers. Now there's twenty six, but this island. I dreamt that there was 12 orcas, 12 orcas around that island. And they were up out of the water, but they were, ch -ch 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 -ch. you know, like how that rhythm when you're praying in the Sundance and you're looking at the Sunnerfall, those, um, those killer whales were like, when you're singing, Gene, <laughs> it's just like you said, what go where we so I that's where I went and I just remember the 12 of them you know and I remember the arbor and I I just had that really good dream and I thought ah it's the spirit of you know because like uh Chehalis, you know we've done work at Chehalis. they told us that when when the killer whale or the 
orca came out of the water, it, it shapeshifted and became a wolf. You know, it was, it was a wolf. And, you know, all of us here, indigenous and all of our tribes, we all have a sacredness with the wolf, you know. And, and um, so they, it, they were dancing and I just thought, wow, it was this, this, you know, am I dreaming? You know, it was because I'm still in that. I can see them dancing around this island, this wild goose island. And so, so that's where I went. So I guess I'll, I'll, the first thing I'll talk about, um, what you're dreaming you know, dreaming, you know, dreaming, but also sleeping and dreaming and what you're dreaming, you know, because one of the ways to come out of if there was holiday blues or holidays glee, or if you just got your Amazon bill and you're like, God dang, <laughs> you know? I mean, whatever, whatever the days, you know, and um, we said hangover because I just want to say, you know, it's been a long time you know, it's been 34 years for me that I have not drank alcohol. So it's not that kind of hangover. We're talking about uh, maybe a spiritual or emotional hangover. And so I'm going to say something about dreams and then I'm going to shift it to you, brother. Is, um, you know, one of, um, it was right at the solstice. And, and those of you who know me, you know that for about 12 years, I have these pet foxes. I've had the parents and then I've had the kits or the pups. And um, something happened around NWI. We just, we always, we try to take four retreats or we get together and we just come back from a self-care retreat, which is, you know, in this dream up your retreats or when you're taking time out in 2022. And, um, but I had a, a couple of dreams and I'll just, um, I know this is intimate, you know, I usually, <laughs> I used to, but they were, um, one was, um, it was about, um, I had went out um, to the water, I'm right on the St. Mary's Lake and it had drifted and it was blowing and there's this log, this long log that sometimes I'll just sit when the water is open, but it was frozen. And I looked on the log and there was this rock. You should have brought, well, it's, it's, it's in the other room. There was this rock and that rock wasn't there before because when you know the land, you start to read the land. And you read the land and you read the trees and you read the smell, you read the plants, you read the seasons. And that rock was not there before, but um, I sat there and then I looked over at that rock and it's one of those petrified rocks that sometimes come out, you know, from the glaciers. And that petrified rock had a um, had a little footprint on it, you know. But it's and it's like a little people's footprint. And um, so that that night, um, I had this dream. And so it's good to remember your dreams. Make the intention, a prayer, a smudge to remember what you dream when you sleep or what what are your 24 months you've been in this pandemic what are you dreaming up that's going to be good for you and your family for you and your tribe are you in your community what you know so the dream I had um and it's kind of funny Gene because you know you know how like we are Robert Johnston <laughs> we always have Bigfoot dialogue <laughs> but in the dream it was like one of the Bigfoots like the one in the video where he's running through the trees <laughs> it was like that kind of Bigfoot but this Bigfoot had that rock and that this Bigfoot was coming towards the house and so I would say as as the Bigfoot had the rock and as he was coming towards the house he transformed into a, a man so he was a man holding that rock and, you know, I'll, I'll just share that much. So I um, went like I, what I, I didn't have tobacco on me. I should have, but so I put um, Wilbur Fish um, always taught us we could put um, our spit day eh? and um, to, so um, then I thought, um, and I, maybe I should put some tobacco. Did I ask permission? So then I started smudging that rock and I have it. And I smudged it and I said, uh, I needed to ask permission because I just brought you in my house. Am I supposed to bring you back or, you know, <laughs> but the rock is like, got, so this is, I'll just 
kind of stop there, Gene. What happens is my dog, Ocon Iron Pipe, is sleeping by that rock. And one day I looked over there and he was like, that rock was his pillow. He was actually just like nudged, you know, like, you know, he was just like, like the rock was his pillow. So, so I thought, well, you tell him, I, I talk to rocks. I, I don't know. Okay. I'm one of those crazy old Indian women. I talk to rocks and they talk back. <laughs> so I told that rock, I said, is it okay if you stay a while? Is it okay if you stay a while? Cause I think, I think that, um, you know, wherever our people need you right now, this rock, and I'm just going to say some prayers, but you must tell me, Rock, if you ever need to go back in the water or back on the land, I'm not going to put you in no museum, you know? <laughs> no one's going to take you. I'll guard you. No museum's going to get you. <laughs> you know, it's a, so I have a, this, uh, so I know you guys, uh, Indians and rocks, we, they're intimate relationships. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, when, take your family out with some tobacco, gather some rocks with your children, with your grandchildren, you know, mm -hmm. gather some of that, that rock, that natus okotoks, that holy rock, you know, and uh, bring, and um, it'll help you get out of these holiday days. <laughs> So I'm going to shift it to you, Gene. Uh, what you thinking? Oh, I'm just enjoying listening to you. And, you know, just as you're sharing your story and, and that expression of this, and again, how to get out of this holiday days and just going outside and 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 such. Uh, I just want to share with everybody who's listening too. Is like as I'm hearing you and listening to you describe your dreams and and the rocks and everything. I I know that. Um, what comes to my mind is introductions. How do we introduce ourselves? And the value of, of our introductions and knowing who we are. You know, it's like, and again, know who you are in 2022, you know, or, or whatever. It's like, make it up, whatever. It's the kind of thing that rhymes. But I see, you know, Theta, you with you know, unconsciously, because there's so much a part of you, you introduce yourself to that rock, your spirit and everything. You're introducing yourself to the rock. Because I was taught the same thing. If I don't have anything, I'll grab a piece of my hair, drop it down, or my my grease, my oil. I get all oily and stuff like that. You know, and all oh, that's the thing about Indians, man. We're all oily and things like that. You know, get wipe off a little bit of your oil and your, you know, the, rub it on the ground. I have, this is what I have to offer you right now. I don't have any tobacco with me, you know, but just I'm, I'm, a, I'm a greasy, humble Indian here. And so I'm going to offer you a little bit of my, my greasy, you know, self here to you, you know, and, but it's, but it's with that intention. And with that, even with that, you're introducing yourself to the rock and the family of those rocks. And, and, you know, and, and that introduction, because as we came on here, we introduced ourselves and in form and in, in introducing ourselves, we're bringing our ancestors in, but also what we're doing is we're creating a relationship, a relationship, not only, you know, we know each other, but with those who are viewing, we were creating a relationship with you. Because even when we introduced ourselves unconsciously, your mind started saying, uh, hearing it, and then you started to introduce yourself too. And I, I could feel that. I could feel those. I could feel your presence out there. You know, and so one of the, you know, just that importance of during this time, introducing yourself. And I say that too, is because um, there's a lot of people out there in this holidays, days, who have been um, triggered, triggered. Some of them um, are like, how do I, you know, take the edge off? I've heard that word or, you know, I'm, how do I cope? Or, you know, I'm just like, you know, some of them are saying I'm sitting here staring at this bottle and it's just staring at me back, you know, and I know I, I can't drink or I'm staring at this here food or I'm staring at this here whole big canister of, of uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream you know and and i'm just like just this temptation i just want to i just can't eat just one 
one bite is or two bites it's you know it's the whole tub is going to be gone or whatever it is you know shopping we get on amazon boom 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 you know and then was next thing you know we're like seeing the bill the amazon bill going oh my goodness you know but when you get triggered um i was taught too is that these things you see that for instance maybe there's that drink or that cigarette whatever introduce yourself to it because it's an entity who are you introduce yourself to that and introduce yourself to you know and not only as you introducing yourself but who do you walk with introduce your mom your dad or your your grandmas and grandpas your people and introduce yourself to that and then ask it to introduce who ask it who are you that bottle of alcohol, that substance, whatever it is, or the food, or even the shopping. Ask it, who are you? And ask it to introduce itself to you. And it's who do you travel with? Who do you walk with? For instance, the spirit of alcohol walks with guilt, shame, drugs, uh, grief, darkness, suicide. That's his crew. And you want that within yourself. You know, that's that's its crew. You know, and who do you walk with? And so that that will like you your formative relationship. Because even if you take the substance in, you're still forming a relationship. But what kind of relationship do you want to be or to form? So every time we introduce ourselves, we're always forming a relationship with it and that's indian thinking that's indian way of thinking that's indigenous ways of thinking when you go out on the land you introduce yourself to the rock to the trees to the mountain to everything the very air that we breathe those introductions the rock that theta took you know and grabbed and held she asked permission can i take you and if some white person came in there and they're seeing this indian there some walking with their braids on i know theta all bundled up talking to the rock kind of is it okay if i take you with me we're gonna know is, is that okay they think that we're just crazy you know and part of it is that we are but we're great our craziness is about thinking about that this is real and sometimes be a little crazy is a good thing <laughs> It's a good thing, you know, and, you know, and to be that, but, you know, but to ask, even to ask permission, is it okay if I take you into my house, you know, and Okan already introduced himself to the rock, mm -hmm. you know, and, and use that rock as a pillow. So sometimes we need to take that, the uh, cues from the, the animals around us too. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife and I were driving in the car uh, over the holidays and uh the night it was really snowy out here and uh the night before we saw online uh that there's a uh they there's a dog that was lost it got scared somehow and ran off and it was in the neighborhood that we live in and so my wife and i one night we said well let's just get bundled up let's take the car out we got four-wheel drive and let's go look for this dog so we were driving up and down the neighborhoods, we went driving through the back alleys, you know, on our dogs, we had the windows down, and we had telling our dogs, keep an eye out, if you see something bark, you know, and, and they're barking at, they're barking at like the, the, uh, the air, the air, um, yeah, they're looking around, and then they bark at one of those, those uh, um, air snowman or something like that, we say, that's not a dog, so don't bark at that, we don't want that. So we traveled around the whole the neighborhood. We did this for a few hours, just driving up and down the neighborhoods, you know, back alleys, looking for the dog, praying, saying prayers. We didn't find the dog. But the next morning we went driving. And as we're driving, suddenly a northern flicker, and here that flicker drives flies right in our path, right across our windshield. Hmm. And, on, and if any of you don't know that northern flicker is the one when it, it opens its wings, it's all orange and has black tips on its wings under there. One of my favorite birds, you know, just beautiful. Um, so that northern flicker flew right in front of us. And I asked my wife right at that moment, what were you thinking? And she's she saying, I'm really, I was thinking that I, I'm, you know, my wife, Ruby, you know, and we're, she goes, um, um, 
I was thinking that I'm glad we have four wheel drive. But what I was really thinking was, I hope that dog is okay. I hope that dog is okay. And then um, later on, when we got home, we saw a message that the dog was found. It's at home with its, with its family and it's okay. And so we need to pay attention to, to those signs when spirit is talking to us and answering us. Pay attention to the questions that we are asking ourselves in our minds, our thoughts. And if we're answer, asking the question, pay attention to the responses that are around us. And they're not necessarily responses from another human being or whatever it is. Spirit's always talking to us. Spirit is always introducing itself to us. And we're always introducing ourselves to everyone because we're introducing ourselves, not just to other words, but even how we look, we walk, our talk, our attitudes, our presence, our spirit itself. And, all, and pay attention to that in your life, in your world, and going into this new world, this new, this new year too. It's like, you know, and and because we're asking questions. Especially in this world, you know, we're always asking ourselves questions. So what questions are you asking? Mm -hmm. And you know, Gene, you know, just um, I love um how you articulate things because then it sparks me. <laughs> and I think um, because we're, it's good to have um, male energy and female energy and different gender, gender energies, you know, but I was, I was just thinking, you know, in 2022, you have to, first of all, congratulate yourself. <laughs> if you just like say, congratulate yourself that you're transforming you've been in a pandemic for 24 months i mean you know and a year ago we had a challenge in the united states um you know when there was almost a takeover in dc um you know a, a year and a half ago george floyd shook up the world um you know um that we've had so much phenomena last night when we, we were visiting about some of our poor relatives stranded in their car for 24 hours. We've had all of the, so I, I think I wanna, and you talked about triggers. I, I think that we have to start treating ourselves gentle, mm -hmm. that we have to bring a gentleness. And the, the gentleness is, you know, when, when stuff is too much or, or it's piling on, stop and pause. There's something sacred in um, pausing our um, silence. Yeah. Like quiet is silence. You know, quiet is, is um, and, and stop and, and check in with yourself. You know, cause like, you know, one of, we have in our family, you know, cause we've had so much loss. It's the anniversary of loss. So we're, um, then we were, you know, in our family, we were just saying, um, when we got bitchy with each other, you know, like, <laughs> when we were getting bitchy with each other, you know, which, right, families do that, is, and then, then stopping and saying, oh, I apologize, I just, just getting triggered, I didn't mean to, um, put it on you or project it on you. I'm sorry, I apologize. You know, when you're in healing, you know, so I, I would just, I, I was just thinking to, to start with the gentleness, uh -huh. like a, a real, a graceful gentleness and first forgiving self and starting, starting a, on new ground or new leaf or it, even in relationships, you know, to, I always like it when, um, I see um, couples that have been together for a long time and they um, go on date night or they run away on vacation by themselves, you know, <laughs> without the kids and the dogs, or, you know, they just like, or even if it's for an hour or a week or whatever, but being gentle, I, I really encourage you to, you know, that gentleness about 
rituals of preparing yourself when you sleep, preparing yourself when you rituals, be gentle on how you wake up. You know, that, that gentleness of greeting the day. Um, we're, we're doing an exercise where we look in the mirror and say for 21 days and say, I love you. And I, I'm on day eight, but this morning I just started really, you know, looking in my eyes and I just, you know, cause when you, when you look in your eyes, you see yourself. And I just said, I'm going to try to take better care of you. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, Athena, I'm just going to try to take better care of you. And I don't know what all that means or, you know, a prescription, but I'm just going to try to take better care of you. And then um, I'm wearing this shirt because um, Native Wellness Institute and White Bison and Al Pubali's Sacred Fatherhood, we're going to have a healing conference in April. And um, this morning, um, Mike Duncan does a, a thing around acts of kindness, but he was saying, just pause and tell your family that you love them. You know, and, and I was thinking that as a parent or a grandparent, you know, just to, you know, tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, did you know I really love you with all my heart? <laughs> You know, so, so I, it, you know, just, just to our, you know, if acquaintances or friends that, you know, even what you put online, you know, like, um, I'll, um, I'll say just one thing and I'll pass it to Eugene. I was thinking, you know, like when um, we have prayer, prayer warriors and people ask for prayers, but they just put like a prayer sign. Step out of that, just the icons and stuff and say something extra gentle like i'm gonna stop four times today and i'm just gonna pray that your spirit grows and evolves and just springs out and and enjoys the world you know type that in there or just you know learn to articulate gentleness and to articulate love and to articulate kindness and so so i challenge all of you you know, in the next few days, just um, let your comments on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or whatever that your comments just say, hey, I love you. <laughs> hey, you're pretty damn good. Or God, you're outstanding. <laughs> you know, or geez, you're brilliant. So, you know, pick a word, you know, you're brilliant. Your goodness is going to happen. 2023, uh, this year till then is going to be um, fantastic. You know, think about, so even that's online and in person. In person, the words that you flood to your family, to your bubble, to your, you know, I was, um, I was listening to one grandmother. She said it was it was just too hard not being able to be around her grandchildren and caress them, put them on her knee and stuff like that. And, and now we're going back to where we have to be cautious and especially for those five and under, you know, like, but um, just be gentle, you know, be the words, say the words. Don't let time go by without, you know, um, you know, my mother and my grandparents and my grandfathers, they would always say, leave each other in a good way. You know, like even, you know, if you're, you're not see each other for a couple of weeks or whatever, always, and then before you go to bed at night, just gently leave each other in a good way. And um, so um, those are some of my thoughts. What you think, Gene? You know what, Theodore, you just uh, really reaffirmed like um, this thing I wanted to do with my dad. My dad just got this uh, picture frame and we can email photos to him. My, uh, his, his granddaughter bought it for him. And so my mom says he loves sitting there and just watching, looking at all these pictures and they just go through, go through. So I was going to say, oh, I, want, I want to send this picture to him. And the picture is, is this is of, of me holding this sign right here. You know, it's probably, oh. it's probably backwards, but, but I have to figure it out. But I just want to hold it up for my dad. You know, just send him that picture. I love you. Mm -hmm. you, know, just, you know, and so that he can see that that photo. You know, and uh, and just send him that. So, uh, let, how about those out there 
those who are out there who are listening, let's start this thing. It's like, you know, just send a picture with a little sign. And you're holding it up to those out there. Say, I love you. I love you. Or, you know, you, you mean, you know, you mean the world to me. And uh, it's like my, my wife and I, um, you said, don't go to bed uh, angry or anything like that. Even if my wife are, are in a disagreement, we always, you know, we'll always end our, our going to our sleep world with just saying, I love you. And that's it, just that gentleness and kindness, you know, and, and uh, of just sharing with each other. And, and sometimes I'll, you know, I'll even, before I go to bed, I'll, um, I'll light the smudge. I like the smudge. My wife will already be in bed. You know, I'll light the smudge and I'll just say my prayers. And part of my prayers is just to have, because during this time, you know, of uh, uh, uncertainty, like there is so much going on. And it's an energy. And I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to take that energy with me because I want to be able to sleep. And so many people are having a hard time sleeping, you know, or eating or even dreaming, you know, and, and such because we we take that on. Um, I'll even just pray for just a restful sleep mm -hmm. and to have dreams. Mm -hmm. To have dreams, you know, and, and it helps. It helps. And that's just me being kind to myself and helping and you know and and helping myself out. Yes. Because as I, you know, you with the thing with the mirror, one thing I've noticed with the, looking in the mirror now, Theta, is that um uh I got I shared this story earlier. At the end of the year, I was uh it was really snowy here in the northwest in Tacoma. And so my wife pulled it up, we pulled up and I made a delivery down to a, 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 to a house that was down the hill. I didn't want to drive down it because it was steep and it's full of snow. So I walked down the hill, this road, and, uh, and did what I needed to do. And then I was walking back up. And as I'm walking back up, uh, a father and his kids were there. And they're sliding, sledding down the hill in their sled. And they're like, woo -hoo! And then one kid yells out, watch out, watch out. Don't run over the old man. And... Uh, <laughs> And I'm looking around going, what old man are they talking about here? And I'm looking and I'm saying, they must be talking to me. I must be that old man. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, like, yeah, give me that sled. I'll show you how to sled. I'm walking up this hill. I could walk up this hill just fine, probably faster than all this stuff's going through my mind. And I told my wife and, and she's uh, laughs and these kids are following me up the hill. And she says, look at those kids. They're probably following you up the hill, old man, because they want to make sure that you can make it. You know, and uh, and so I was just kind of, you know, just kind of laughing at that. But the truth is that, you know, and we talked about this earlier, theater, is that I am getting to be an old man, that old guy. Mm -hmm. And as I look in the mirror, I'm looking in the mirror. Yeah, I noticed um, last yesterday I was in a group and they and I said, oh, look, at I'm graying because I had a gray sweater on too. And I was just saying, oh, I just look all the same. Holy smokes. And this, uh, you know, just gracious young lady, she said, um, oh, you're chroming. I'm chroming. I'm getting chromed <laughs> out here. You know, and so, uh, but it is just part of that too is my transition into being at my age to be that old guy. Mm -hmm. Even that transition into, you know, it's like, uh, oh, yeah, and things are shifting in me, my thoughts. Mm -hmm. my and when I look in the mirror, I notice that. Ah. I look at old, old, I look at old pictures of, uh, or younger pictures of me when I was younger. I look at, I'm going, wow, holy, look at that young guy. But I look at that young guy, I go, man, that guy thought he knew something. <laughs> and we didn't know nothing. <laughs> I had no, I didn't know a damn thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm looking at that, that guy thought he knew something. You know, and now I look at these pictures now. I saw it, that guy still thinks he knows something, but I know more than that guy. But it's this, but I'm still taking a look at myself now. And what it is, Theta, is like, it's an acceptance of who I am. It's an acceptance of who I am. Because I have grown from that old guy. I have grown just in this last pandemic time of, of a year and a half, almost two years of this pandemic. I have grown, you know, hugely. You know, it's like 
you know, there's things I don't even, there's, I've grown in ways that I don't even know yet. Mm -hmm. You know, Gene, I was just, I don't want me to cut you off and, but you know that um, like our heart and that yeah. growing exponentially is because, because you're a wisdom keeper Gene, and you got to own it. You're a wisdom keeper. And I'm becoming a wisdom keeper, but I was, um, I was thinking about, you know, that heart and, you know, coming out of these holiday days, that heart, you know, and I was looking, reflecting um, with the people we work with, and then my own heart when it was broken, oh God, you know, when it was just shattered and, and broken, and it felt like my heart was just going to fall apart, and it just, it just ached, it just ached. But I was, but what I have learned is when you got a bunch of cracks in your heart, that's when your true ability to love more happened. Uh. <laughs> so, so, so you gotta, you gotta go through the heartache. You gotta go through the grief. You gotta go through the loss. You gotta go through, um, even, you know, intellectually when you uh, shift paradigms when you realize the world ain't flat anymore, you know, whatever, you get a broken heart, you know, and, and, but every crack in that heart allows you, it opens up. And that's like, when you have children, your heart gets out and out of you and goes walking around. That's why we love our grandchildren. It's even more in our, our great grandchildren and, and every child, every child does matter <laughs> that's why when when you're in the presence of children and infants you're in the presence of of god uh -huh. and that's why you know they have that soft spot i was just you know that heart and you know because when you they say be real gentle and that's why you know the creator can come into their soft spot and that's why they can see things that the adults can't see they feel the energy is because creator is really present with them. But I was just, I was just thinking about that, you know, because um, Native Wellness Institute, um, come join us on um, January 11th and 12th. We're doing a grief and loss and registration is now. So we want to, um, you're hearing it. So register now. <laughs> and then um, we're having Another training. When is that? The January the twentieth. Um, what is that, Gene? The um, the new you, the new year. I'm looking it up right now. I'm going to take a look at. Yeah, it. yeah. And so we're um, we're that one is going to be free, and that's like our gift, uh, Native Wellness Institute. That's our gift. Yeah, January twentieth, twenty first. Thanks, Shailene. Shailene's our um, our inevitable <laughs> safety net. She also tells us when we. <laughs> Shaylee, we need Shaylee because she's like like our our safety nets. So that one's free, January twentieth and twenty first, the new year, the new you. But I um wanted to say, you know, that grief and loss, because um all of us, you know, we on our team, we've lost we lost our our coworker Charlie Tailfeathers, and in each of our tribes, we lost. I was um talking to a, a Navajo woman that was in our training, they've lost 3000 Navajo members. Yeah. You know, so that grief and loss, um, please come and join us. And, um, and, but think about that, you know, when you're hurting, there's a purpose to it. There's a healing, there's a transformation because now your ability to love more, to be more gentle, to have more forgiveness and to yourself that I think that's um, like the wisdom of it, the wisdom of heartache. <laughs> anyway, some thoughts, Gene, what do you Look, think? Um, I just want to, it was um, a young man and I'm going to share his name, Joel. I grew up with him in, um, in Juneau, Alaska. And, um, and Joel was, uh, you know, younger than I was. And, uh, but he's also a down syndrome. And I'll tell you the brilliance of Joel was that uh, he'd always want to play me in checkers and I could never beat him. Was, I've never been able to beat Joel in checkers. Yeah, yeah. Like, you want to play checkers? I'm going, all right, you know, let you beat me again. 
you know, and, but Joel, this one time he came up to me, this was when uh, I was in high school and he came up to me, he says, I want to give you a card. And he, he had, he gave me a card and it was in the shape of a heart, uh -huh. the shape of that heart. And he goes, this is what everyone sees. And it was red, you know, in the shape of a heart. And then he turned it all over and on the other side had all those lines, like there were stitches, you know, lines with stitches and, you know, and, and all that on the other side. And he turned it over and that was on the other side. And he goes, this is what my heart really looks like. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and the wisdom of, of Joel, this Down syndrome um, brother, you know, relative, and just bringing that to you, you know, and yeah, you know, and these are children and those, you know, they, they hold that wisdom, you know, like I, I, I believe that these Down syndrome kids and, and a relative too are our uh, our, our creator spirit, you know, God, and mm -hmm. they, they hold a wisdom there. Mm -hmm. and I, I love those. Uh, I love being around them and stuff. So when you were talking about that, that was really um, about that heart. Mm -hmm. and that heart wisdom and that grief you know and i and again those who are out there yeah we're in a time of of a grief where there's like a blanket of grief that's coming down on us and how can we hold it up how can we help each other out, out? yeah mm -hmm. you know, and um um mm -hmm. yeah and heal and be gentle with yourself because that grief is traditionally we we had a process to grieve we had other people, I must not think it, we had those who would grieve with you. Mm -hmm. We would say we'd hold this, we'll lay down the blanket so we will catch your tears. We'll catch your tears as, as mm -hmm. your tears come down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'll hold you up in this time. Wow. Wow, Gene, you know, right then, right when you were just saying that, I remember Teresa Tendoy of Rocky Boy, all of them. Mary Lodgepole, all of those out, they, when they pray, they cry. And then um, Rick Two Dogs was talking about his mother who would go out and um, wail and sing. And then, you know, Agnes Ironpipe, our grandma, when I was a child, I just watched her go up on the hill and, and wail and cry till her snots came out. And then come back down and just say, I feel better <laughs> that you get on with whatever the chores were. So I thought, so then I, I think I learned to give yourself permission just to cry till your snots come out <laughs> you know? and then you feel better and then you go on with your day. And so maybe in 2022, give yourself permission to cry till your snots come out or to laugh till you pee in your pants. Hey, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you know give yourself that permission you know but native wellness institute you know we're going to be here every wednesday we're inviting you to our trainings we, we have one every uh, couple of each month and then come in april you know where where it's a big um healing informed um training you know outside by uh, you know so anyway i'll i'll just um say those closing comments um because i you're supposed to keep me on track, Gene. <laughs> I know. I know. We got like about six, six, seven minutes here to go here. And uh, because I was trying to actually pull up the um on my iPad, the um the um that uh the flyer for that 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 conference that we're having in um oh, I'll have to find it later for um that conference we're having it in April. Here's the, the flyers. I oh, carry, <laughs> I carry the flyers everywhere because a lot of, I still, you know, put them up in the post office. <laughs> I, put them, I just don't tack them around, but the, it'll be at the Brooks, California, um, Cash Creek. A lot of it's going to be happening outside. And so um, it, it's, um, and um, look on our site or look on uh, Native Dads, you, the registration, because um it's it's filling up fast 
And then, you know, we were just teasing this morning because I said, well, you can fit about 30 Indians in a room. <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah, old school. We'll just have 30 Indians in every room. So we'll all fit. No worries. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. So um, yeah, with that, you know, we had the training in April. Then we have the uh, online. We're still going. We're still doing stuff online, you know. And we want to invite you, everyone, into that. But uh, just as closing remarks, Theta, you know, um, it's it just to you know, again, people, just everyone, just be gentle with yourself. Just simply, just take out some tobacco or a piece of food and wherever you're at, you don't have to be out in the forest or the woods up on the mountain, just out your back door or your front door and just drop some tobacco or just introduce yourself. Let the, your area, your place, even if you're in an apartment building, wherever you're at, just introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself. Let them know who you are. Let them know who you're, that space, know who your, your ancestors are, who you travel with. And start to form a relationship, not only with ancestors in place, but you're forming a relationship with yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you, and when you look in the mirror, I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. I, sometimes I see more than myself. I, 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 there's other reflections going on. Maybe that's my own hallucination. Maybe that's my own thing going on, man. But there's some, there's more there in that reflection in the mirror. I've noticed, mm -hmm. you know? Beautiful. We had a, a question. Um, Non-natives have a very, very, very important role with all of our healing to become our allies. And it's even deeper than that. It's to become a decolonized ally versus a colonized ally. And uh, I think that's a February training. <laughs> but um, I was, um, I want to in closing is to be intentional be intentional about 2022 be intentional if, if you're whatever you're seeking you know whatever part of your healing because uh, mine always is trust and so i'm taking a whole bunch of risks about trusting <laughs> you know so i so in 2022 i want to be intentional to um building new relationships um may Tao told us she said if you live long you always have to be making new friends so and be intentional about trusting and be intentional when you know it's um what what's the purpose for being there it's that's um it's a a blackfoot you know they always say what's your purpose for being there so you know in 2022 ask yourself when you're there wherever you are or online why are you there? Be intentional. And if it isn't fitting with your boundaries or with your ethics or with your values, get the hell out of there. <laughs> I mean, be intentional about, you know, going in and uh, being vulnerable and taking a risk, you know. And, uh, and so I, those are just some of my thoughts for 2022, Gene. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks, Theta. I think we're, we're coming down to our, um, let me see what the time says here. Yeah, we're coming down to our, our, uh, our end of our time for this moment. And again, this moment here that we've, that we've had and you're on will never, ever happen in the, you know, the existence of this universe, this moment, this time. And so those of you who tuned in, I just really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in and, you know, and, and, uh, and allowing us to share a little bit of our spirit with you, with our spirit with you. And I ask that question, how do you, how do you share your spirit and be intentional about it? Be careful with it as well. Be careful with that, you know, and choose your battles, choose your battles and, and during this time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so everybody out there, I just want to say blessings, blessings and wellness to you. And, 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 uh, and, and uh, yeah. And remember all the, all the power hours, all 400 of them plus are free on YouTube, a Native Wellness Institute. And then we just want to give a shout out to um, White Bison that we're allying with. We want to give a shout out to Native Dads Network. Yeah, Mike Duncan, awesome. 
And we want to give a shout out to Al Pooley. And we also want to give a shout out to all of the energy around healing around the boarding schools that's going to happen <laughs> in 2020. It's been happening, but we want to just give a shout out to that. Um, and so thank you for joining us today. Um, Gene and I, it's always, Gene, uh, I love you, Gene. <laughs> I love you. It's always good to work with you. <laughs> I, I can't cyber hug you, but you know, we'll just um, cyber hugs to everyone, but we just want to thank you and we'll um, shut her down for today and see you next, next Wednesday. Uh.